Welcome back to another scalping lesson. Soil here, and today I want to teach you an insane scalping strategy which is incredibly profitable with high degree of accuracy. This scalping strategy is executed on five minutes time frame. So on TradingView platform, here we set the chart time frame on five minutes. This is the price chart of Euro to US dollar of Forex market, but there is no limitation on this, and you can use this scalping strategy on any other market, whether it's Forex, crypto, or stocks. The only requirement in terms of the asset or market is trading volume and liquidity because this is a scalping strategy and our profit and loss are small in terms of price movements so we don't want to experience any unreal price gaps or large spread between bid and ask prices that can damage our trade entry stop loss and profit and this is scalping strategy we have three indicators for adding indicators here we click on indicators and we simply search the name the first one that we want to add is stochastic histogram this one, which is written by someone named N. Boone. We use this indicator with default settings and we only change its appearance. Here in the style tab, here we set it on area. And now it better shows what is going on. The next indicator that we want to add is MACD, moving average convergence divergence, this one. And we must change its settings. Here in the inputs tab, for the fast length we set it at 34 and for the slow length we set it at 144 then in the style tab we uncheck macd line and signal line because in this scalping strategy we only need macd histogram and let's make the appearance of our histogram as area we click on ok and the third indicator that we want to add is range filter this one, range filter buy and sell 5 min, which is written by someone named Guikroth. And we use this indicator with its default settings. Everything is already set on the chart and let's see how we trade based on this 5 minute scalping strategy. All right, as you can see, this indicator range filter gives us some buy and sell signals. Actually, the signals are given based on this middle line that you can see here. When the middle line turns to green, it's a buy signal. And when it turns to red, it's a sell signal. If these are distracting for you, you can simply clear them in the settings. Please pay attention that we don't trade only based on these signals because many of them can be false signals, especially when pullbacks begin or the price goes to a trading range. So we need to fill filter the false signals and take the signals that have higher probability of giving the expected result. For this purpose, we use these two indicators, stochastic histogram and MACD histogram. When we have buy signal, both of stochastic histogram and MACD histogram should be green. And when we have sell signals, both of them should be red. For example, here we have a buy signal, stochastic histogram is green, but MACD histogram is red. As long as MACD histogram is red, downside momentum is greater than upside momentum so we don't enter any long position here here we got a sell signal stochastic histogram is red but macd histogram is green it's actually on the verge of turning to red but we stick to the rules and we don't enter a short position here here a buy signal but both of stochastic histogram and macd histogram are red so not confirmed here a similar situation we got a sell signal but both of stochastic and macd histogram are green so here also we don't open a short position and here we got a confirmed signal it's a buy signal and both of our histograms are green so we can enter a long position here as the new candle is opened the stop loss for this trade can be placed below the swing low and for the profit of this trade we can set take profit order in advance at a level that makes the risk to the reward ratio equals 1.5 or you can follow the price action and take your profit when you see signs of reversal one good strategy here is move Moving your stop loss below the pullbacks and lock in your profit and you can close your position when the trend is stopped or the market is reversing here we got a sell signal not confirmed because both of histograms are green and here we got a buy signal and this is a confirmed signal please pay attention that this buy signal shows up when this candle is closed and the price is actually at the opening level of this candle where both of the histograms are green so we can enter a long position 
direction here with a stop loss placed below the swing low. This sell signal is not confirmed, but here we got another buy signal which is confirmed by our histograms. All right, let me explain an important point here. If you remember, I already mentioned that the number of false signals are high at the beginning of pullbacks and when the market is flat. Here we got a sell signal, but not confirmed. And after that, as you can see, the market is completely flat. Here we got a buy signal. Do you think it's wise to enter a trade here? Definitely not because the market is flat it could be the starting point of a huge advancing of the price but here this trade has high risk because the market is flat as an aggressive trader you may choose to enter to catch that possible huge move but i recommend you to try to lower your risk and not taking these kinds of signals which are generated based on this strategy as you can see the price advanced a little bit but optimistically you would close your position here resulting in a very tiny profit or a similar situation here for this sell signal which is a confirmed signal and you would optimistically close your position here so as you can see in this part of the chart where the market is flat the signals are not very good for taking any trade so besides these indicators and the signals that you get from them you must also watch the price action carefully price action analysis for discovering flat market plays an important role here for filtering false signals you can also use some indicators like a ADX for filtering the signals in trading ranges but besides cluttering your chart it may also filter some good signals whereby price action analysis you might approve them so I recommend you to watch the price action for discovering the times that the market is moving flat another important point about this scalping strategy is risk management and compared to a trend following strategy this strategy has a little higher risk because here we try to catch every turning points of the market so it's really important to manage your risk properly there is a risk management strategy that is called one percent rule and it's a very good strategy for scalping i have a complete guide on this the link is also placed in the description of this video and i highly recommend you to watch it because without a proper risk management strategy you cannot successfully and profitably run the scalping strategy that i explained in this video not only for this strategy but for any other trading strategies that you want to use it's very important to manage your risk properly all right that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading